this is Amanda Wilkinson. I'm here to do a reading for you today. It is Tuesday, July the 20th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Thanks for finding me. I hope you enjoy your reading. If you are a continued supporter, thanks for coming back and watching me one more time. I really appreciate it. If you're watching me on YouTube, or I mean, if you're watching me on Facebook or Instagram, if you could check out my YouTube channel and like, share, and subscribe, that would be fantastic. My, my little granddaughter is always giving thumbs up. If you would like a personal reading, please message me. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. It is a Tuesday afternoon. Um, I hope you are doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and taking care of others and that you know you are beautiful you're gorgeous and you have that star shining in you every one of you this is the general reading will not resonate with everyone take what does and leave the rest and there is no gender in tarot spirit Three of Swords. You got your heart broken. Swords are energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Um, somebody has, it's like you've been stabbed in the heart three times. Someone broke your heart. What is crossing this? The Eight of Cups. Okay, so someone broke your heart, so you walked. This, you can, as you could all obviously tell, there's the cup. She's burning what's ever in the cup, and she is walking away. Someone broke your heart, you walked away. Eight of cups. Cups are water energy. Counts, Pisces, Scorpio. No. Yeah, of course you ran. You walked away. What is consciously known about this? The Hierophant. Oh, so you were looking for a higher level of commitment with this person. You thought you would get a higher level of commitment. This is talking about order, tradition, um, increase in commitment. Um, you can see the stars going up, or the stairs going up to that beautiful star. Um, and so you were looking for commitment, and this person broke your heart, and so you walked away. What is unconsciously known? King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is uh, the king of money, or queen of money. This person is grounded, balanced, stable, a good business person, knows how to take care of money, um, has a good job. This could be you. You or someone else. You can't, if you are the king or queen of pentacles, good for you. You're a business person. Recent past. King of cups. The king of love. Oh. Did this person act like the king of love? King or queen of love. They're talking about loving and caring and compassionate. Um, cups are water gen energy, of course. Count spicy Scorpio. There's the starfish. There's a fish. Uh, sailboat going away. Or uh, sailing away, I should say. King of love. So we got the king of money. And we've got the king of love. Near future. Ace of swords. Oh, you found out the truth about something. Is that why you walked away? Hmm, I hate to say it, but was it this was this a third party situation? Sometimes uh three of swords can mean that. And if it was, you walked away. I like the stairs going down. You can see like a star. So it looks like you found out something about this person. Clarity, honesty, true communication, swords or energy. Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Where do you find yourself? Page of Pentacles. Oh, you've been getting this page a lot. This is a page of Pentacles. The page of money. Uh, pages are messengers, so this is a message about money. Nice. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. 
external influences six of swords okay so moving out of you moved up moving under choppy waters moving on into a better situation you walked now you're moving yourself to a better situation swords are air energy Aquarius Libra Gemini hopes and or fears eight of Pentacles oh so yeah you were working on maybe you are the king of pentacles you got a message about money and now this is eight of pentacles is hard hard work so this is probably your job overall outcome karma judgment karma <laughs> so I'd say whoever broke your heart is getting getting some karma back. And this and you are going positive. You have the positive karma. Bottom of the deck, the knight of love. Knight of love. He is makes your heart go pump 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 bum boom boom boom. Uh, he's got the flowers for you. The horse is going slow. Got a picnic basket. No, well, you know those picnic blankets you have. I never had one, but um, there's the cup. There's the letter. Uh, King of Love or Knight of Love. Oh, oh. You were dealing with it. You were dealing with uh, a toxic person. There was lying. There was cheating. Yeah, probably, probably third party. It sounds like. And because I've got two kings, yeah. Could it have been? You got two kings and a knight could this person um this person might be interested in may have been interested in the the same sex with the two kings and the devil card um so there was lying cheating ten of wands Oh, the devil is Capricorn energy. Ten of Wands. So you have been through it, right? This person has been carrying this heavy, heavy, heavy load, burdening down the oxen to Wands of Fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. This mean this means that there is a heavy burden. You are putting down this heavy burden and you're moving on to a passionate new beginning, which I've been seeing for you a lot. Drop this. Passionate new beginning is coming. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. So you're working on your money tree. Beautiful. He is caring for his um, money tree. Pentacles are earth energy. Money. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is kind of a wait and see card. So I guess you are very, very hard at work. Got a message coming about work, and here we are working on the money tree. Oh, and the sun. The sun. The sun shines your light on um, the whole reading. So, this is Leo energy. The sun is shining on you. Karma shining on you. Um, it's beautiful. You're moving on. You're moving on to a better a better better day you walked away from what no longer serves you you're moving on the Sun is shining on you and that person may be getting their karma
What do you need to release? The waning moon. This is what you need to release. You need to release this heartache. Uh, you need to re release this toxic energy out of your life. To let the sun shine again. Step out of your comfort zone. North node. We've had that a lot. Bottom of the deck. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable moon. All right. So, you know what you need to release. You need to, yes, you have to step out of your comfort zone because the sun, the sun is going to be shining bright on you. And nothing is yet set in stone. You can put this behind you. Put this behind you and walk into the sun. I love it great. So what I'm, I'm going to call it the sun. Sun is a final card. I like it. I like it. Um, I hope you have a great day or great rest of the day. I'm going to do my 12 zodiac sign reading in a bit. And I'm going to try and get the... 12 person sign done every day for the rest of the week. That is my goal. Let's see if I do it. <sighs> Have a great rest of your afternoon. I will see you later. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Bye.